Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to be doing another review of the Zingyu ZY007 microphone. Uh, the reason why I'm saying another review is because in the previous video that I did, um, we did not cover how this microphone sounds using an audio interface. So I managed to get my hands on an audio interface. So we're going to test it out and see and compare how this microphone sounds when it is connected directly to the computer versus when it is connected to a computer using an audio interface such as this one here. Now the audio interface that I am using here, it is the Steinberg UR22 Mark II. Uh, so this interface here will allow you to connect two microphones at the same time using a quarter inch jack or XLR cables. Uh, so there are also two outputs as well uh, that you can connect to the left side and the right hand side if you have two monitor speakers. So that's an option as well that you can use with this. So without further ado, let's get into actually unboxing this. and Let's see what it comes with. All right, so right off the bat, we can see here that this audio interface comes with an installation CD and it appears to have some tools that you are able to also work with. Okay, so we'll put that here on the side. And then we also have the user manual that is multilingual. So whatever language you speak, I'm pretty sure that this manual will be able to meet that expectation. And this package also comes with some software that you will be able to use uh, for both your PC as well as your iPad. So uh, the good thing about this is that if you do have a converter uh, that you plug into your iPad, let's say it goes from lightning to USB, you can connect this audio interface directly into your iPad. And there is some software that you can use uh, in order to edit um, and to play around with your audio track. So this is something that comes with this product. So we can see here that there is a USB 2.0 cable. All right, so we can see that here. And then we have this side of the USB cable that actually connects into uh, the audio interface. So it's a pretty long cable. I would say this is probably about maybe three feet long. And now we get to the actual audio interface. So let's take this out and let's just move this box. So right here, as I explained before, we have two inputs here and we also have two gain controllers for both of the inputs. And as I stated before, you can use either an XLR connector or quarter inch connectors. Um, so the good thing about this audio interface as well is that it allows you to use uh, electric guitars if you're using it in line two, um, because line two has the feature, uh, the high Z feature that is here. And it allows you to connect an electric guitar into this input here. Uh, this interface also has a microphone output as well so that you can monitor uh, whatever it is you are recording whether it's your microphone or your electric guitar. So that's a nice feature to have there as well. And you can also see that there is a sort of master uh, output volume that is here as well. So this is what it looks like on the front end. Uh, when you look at the back, you can see that there's a, um, some writing on the top of the machine so that you know where all of the connectors are. And if you see back here, you can see that there are two MIDI connections. So if you want to connect your mini keyboard, you can do that as well. So it gives you that option. Uh, you have an in and an output for that. As well as here, you have one left and two right. So you can use this as a line output to connect to your monitor speakers. So you have better quality speakers. You can use that with this interface. Now, the thing that a lot of you have been asking is phantom power. So how does this Zingyu microphone sound like when there is phantom power? Well, on this audio interface, there is a switch here that we can simply turn on or off to give phantom power 
to whatever it is that you are using. And in this case, we're, we are going to be using this phantom power on the Zing U ZY007 microphone. Um, so on this side, you have the option to use USB in order to power this device. Um, we have both USB cables, so I am going to be using the USB 2.0 on this side and connecting this output into my computer directly. All right, so without further ado, let's get to the audio quality of this microphone. Okay, so we are all set up. We have our Zing UZY007 microphone connected to the audio interface using an XLR wire. Uh, so just to show you exactly which wire I am using. So we have an XLR female here, and then we have an XLR male that goes into the um, audio interface. So these are the wires that I'm using. So just to make this test as informational as possible. We are going to test it out using the 3.5 millimeter jack that came inside the microphone box. So we are going to connect that directly into the computer and see how that sounds and then compare it to how the microphone sounds while using the USB sound card adapter that was provided to us within the Zing UZY007 microphone box. Okay. And then lastly, we will compare those two sounds uh, to how it sounds using the audio interface. And I'm willing to bet that it's going to sound a lot cleaner while going into the audio interface. And it's also to note that I am using uh, 48 volts of phantom power within the audio interface. Okay, so let's get into that test now. All right, okay, so we are now connected to the computer using the XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack that came inside the uh, microphone box. So there's no uh, audio interface and there's no USB connector that is connected now. Now let's do the audio test. Now right away within Audacity, I can see that there is some um, audio distortion. So if I just stay quiet just for one second here, you can see that there's some distortion. Now let's go ahead and record and see how this sounds uh, using this configuration. Mic check. This is an audio test of the Zing Yu ZY007 microphone using the XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. Okay, so right here I can see that there is a bit of distortion in the quiet areas here some distortion here okay so now let's set up uh, the USB connector and plug that in and see what this sounds like using the adapter card okay so now we are connected to the computer using the USB sound card adapter that was also included uh, inside the microphone box and right away when I do connect it I can see that there is still distortion using this connector um, and connecting it directly to the computer so if we see here, if I just stay quiet again for one second, there's some distortion. So there's some background noise that is still entering the microphone. Now let's see how it sounds. Mic check. This is an audio test of the Zing Yu ZY007 microphone using the USB sound card adapter. So right away, looking here, you can see that there's more distortion using the USB sound card adapter uh, versus connecting directly using the 3.5 millimeter jack. So this is actually an interesting finding that we found here. Okay, so now let's do the final test and connect the microphone into the audio interface while having phantom power and keeping the gain at approximately 75%. Mic check. This is an audio test of the Zing Yu ZY007 microphone. 
and we also have the 48 volt of phantom power that is used on the audio interface. So right away, after looking at all of these three sound samples and these waveforms, we can see that the thinnest uh, quiet audio waveform would be, I would say it's using the audio interface here. Okay. So audibly, I think it sounds cleaner and as, as well as visually, we can also see that it's a bit cleaner as well. So I hope that this test sort of clarifies and answers a lot of the questions that you have been asking regarding this microphone. Does it sound better using an audio interface? I think it does. You guys want to do like a double check? All right. So this is what it sounds like again. While we are using the 3.5 millimeter jack. Mic check. This is an audio test of the Zingyu ZY007 microphone using the XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. Okay, and now let's mute that track. Unmute this track. Select this one. Mic check. This is an audio test of the Zingyu ZY007 microphone using the USB sound card adapter. And then let's mute this one, select this track. Mic check. This is an audio test of the Zingyu ZY007 microphone. And we also have the 48 volt of phantom power that is used on the audio interface. All right, so in my opinion, I believe that the sound quality is significantly better using the audio interface. So I hope that this video will answer a lot of your questions. So if you're debating on buying this microphone uh, because you're concerned about the sound quality, uh, well, in this case, you have three options. You can connect it using the 3.5 millimeter jack, going into a PC, you can use the USB connector that they gave us, but based on our test, there seems to be a little bit more distortion using that option. Or you can spend a little bit more money, get yourself an audio interface, and you will have no worries or headaches after that. So guys, please like, subscribe, and please leave your comments. I would love to hear more from you guys. If you guys have any question, I'm more than willing to answer them. So until the next video, take care guys.